But I wasn't being thrown to the wolves. I was being fed to the wolves. The royal family is bracing for the next installment of Harry and Meghan, with the couple making new claims of unfair treatment. They were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. In a preview for the last three episodes of the Netflix documentary, which is co-produced by their company, to see this institutional gaslighting. The Sussexes are taking aim, and they look set to present Harry's side of the story on the fallout with his father, King Charles, and brother, Prince William. I wonder what would have happened to us had we not gone out when we did. The couple have made these claims before about William being protected. The big question is, are they going to be clearer about what exactly it is they're trying to say? If they are clear and there is information to back this up, this could be very damaging. The first three episodes of the docuseries were released last week and they gave a glimpse at the early days of the couple's relationship and the beginning of their fraught relationship with the media. They are destroying us. My job is to keep my family safe. But they also included sweet moments with their children, Archie and Lilibet. That's your grandma, Diana. This final instalment may make for another explosive chapter in this royal saga. We are on the freedom flight. It gave us a chance to create that home that we had always wanted. I've always felt as though this was a fight worth fighting for. But for now, Buckingham Palace is staying silent. The palace didn't comment on the first three episodes. They were very quick to say they weren't going to comment. Will that now have to change, depending what's in these next three episodes? Now, there's a lot of speculation about how this has been received among members of the royal family. A suggestion in one newspaper that William has said he will never watch this show. I think the thing that's really piqued everyone's interest is Harry saying that they lied for his brother. Who are they and what were they lying about? I guess we'll find out. James Longman, ABC News in London. We do have a royal couple standing by oh, yeah. in Market Square right, right now. I don't think they have the same drama that... Uh, there they the go. Look no. at how regal. We're yeah. a lot more fun. <laughs> Wait, do you not... Can you... We're not going to curtsy right now. No. Anyway, uh, okay. But we've got money. Yes. I don't know if that makes up for it or not. So, yeah, 500 bucks to, uh, to give away. Mm -hmm. yes. And if you are throwing a dinner party this Christmas season, we are going to tell you all about Gnome's Catering. Look at these it's beef Wellingtons. Individual beef Wellingtons. And there are some shrimp skewers with a little bit of butternut squash. What do you see? Oh, what we are going to be dining on. That looks delicious. Now, how about some dessert? Yep, Michael Rimes, Beignet Stan, our good friend here, has perfect flavors for Christmas and the holidays. What do you got there? Today we'll be serving up eggnog, our variation of a hot cocoa beignet, and we also have a maple cinnamon apple butter beignet. <laughs> He has more than 300 different flavors <laughs> of beignets and some savory ones as well. What goes best with that to wash it down? How about some coffee? Java Den takes us to a new spot for your pick-me-up. Yes, indeed. All right, there is an organization in town, Roy Moss, Youth, Roy Moss Youth Alternatives, and really helps out kids that are no longer with their families. And Julie Healy is here. Christmas coming up for those kids, right? It is. Christmas is coming up, Mike, and we have hundreds and hundreds of gifts. Thanks to our amazing community. But they gotta be wrapped. They need to be wrapped, big time. So we're gonna tell you about how you can help wrap some gifts and get some tips from the experts as well. All that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. Well, that front, we're still waiting on it. It's up in the hill country, but it's going to sweep away the humidity for us. A few sprinkles tonight are possible, but really the big story is tomorrow. Sunshine, windy Scott, windy outside. Temperatures in the 60s for highs for the remainder of the work week. Mornings will dip down into the 30s Thursday and Friday morning. And over the weekend, it could be cloudier, a little cooler, with highs only in the 50s. And there is a small chance for a few light rain showers over the weekend as well. We're going to continue to keep you updated, but tomorrow morning on GMSA forecast calls for fun. We're going to be doing bread fossils with science with Sarah, aren't we, David? It's going to be awesome. Wow. Some gummy bears. Gummy bears. Or gummy bears. Uh -huh. you they say gummy in Germany gummy. where they come from, right? <laughs> That's why you so. say it's so weird. They're gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. I don't know. We're going to eat some tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> sugar shock. Sugar shock, for sure. Speaking of eating, you know, we always talk about meals like Christmas Day, Christmas evening, you gotta have the turkey or the ham or whatever. I found breakfast. Yeah, beignets on too. Christmas morning. Did you see all those things That's sitting on that plate? Wonderful Ooh. idea. We do that at my house sometimes. Ah, it's good stuff. SA Live starts right now.
And today on SA Live, if you love coffee shop culture, then you will be excited to hear that Java Jan is visiting a new coffee spot with freshly baked goods. Okay. And we put your Christmas movie knowledge to the test. Can you guess the Christmas movie before time runs out? Plus, we get some professional gift wrapping tips and hear about a very good cause helping kids in our community. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square, this is SA Live. And there is our beautiful Christmas tree all decorated. And oh, look what Santa left under the tree. Ben <laughs> Imagine leaving, instead of cookies and milk for Santa, beignets That's for Santa. That's next level. I know. That's next level stuff. That'll leave you something extra in your stocking Hello. with those. So. Hello and happy Tuesday. I'm Fiona Garcia. And I'm Mike Osterhage. Uh, and oh, can't wait to taste. Yes, our first guest today has created over 365 flavors of beignets. And today he is sharing their seasonal holiday flavors. Michael Grimes, executive chef and co-founder of the Beignet Stand is here. Welcome, welcome, Thank sir. Thank you so and much for having me. It's a, always a pleasure to be on SA Live. Thank, thank you. you for bringing our delicacy with us. So once again, in case you missed it, the great Christmas holiday flavors Absolutely. are. Absolutely. We always like to bring new ideas to our menus, especially seasonally. And we have a variety that we brought for you. So we're going to be assembling three beignets today. And oh. I'm really grateful for your help because I assemble a lot of these throughout the week. So it's awesome when I don't have to do any of the work. <laughs> so thank you for that. We're today gonna We're going to try and make sure they look like that. OK, yeah, here we go. We'll do our best. Let's have fun with this. So we're going to start off. We have our hot cocoa beignet, which is one we brought back every year. It's one of our seasonal beignets. It, it has a chocolate ganache, a marshmallow cream, and then we make our own peppermint powdered sugar. Okay. And so Mike is powdering it up with that peppermint powdered sugar right now. Uh -huh. And we're going to fill it with a chocolate ganache, and then we're going to top it with that marshmallow drizzle. And then this one, which I'm going to do That is going also. to be our spiced eggnog beignet. So the beauty of eggnog is it is essentially like a uncooked custard. So what we do is ah. we just add a little heat to it, thicken it up, and then we infuse hazelnut into it. And then we're going to top it with a little bit of a ginger snap crumble. And Fiona, you're uh -huh. going to be in charge of the one with multiple you steps. About these things makes you just break out in a sweat. Absolutely. I love it, so. It's fun. Beignet should be fun. And what we're doing here is our, our churro beignet. So since it is San Antonio, the flavor profile of churro is uh, one of our more popular beignets. So we have to do a holiday churro beignet. So that one's filled with a creamy apple butter that has hints of maple and cinnamon. We're also going to be zesting a little fresh orange and then topping it with a white chocolate glaze. Y'all are doing perfect. Look, how it's like do you've you, done this before. How do you get your ideas? More than three, I mean, about a year's worth of uh, mm -hmm. beignet flavors. How do you get Absolutely. all your different ideas for You these. know what? It's from conversations with folks like y'all. We really want everyone to feel like they have a place in our business. We are a family business and we want to extend uh, our family. And so by allowing our guests to have a direct input on what is being served at the restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, it, it honestly, it, it uh, uh, energizes our clientele. And so with Fiona, when you're zesting, you don't want to get too much into the pith because it imparts a little bit of bitterness. So just scrape it lightly across that beautiful orange peel right there. Oh, wow. You're doing a great job. And if you tap it actually with the orange, you're going to get some of the zest off that kind of sticks there to the bottom go. of the microplane. You're doing yes. a great job. Oh, I love the smell of orange scent. I mean, it's amazing. It's, yeah, it, it is amazing. It's energizing, it's invigorating, and it adds a little bit of a lighter flavor profile to what could be considered a heavy pastry. You not only have sweet beignets, but you have savory ones. That's as correct, well, right? yeah, sweet and savory. I intended to use this dough as if it were a pizza crust. And okay. so there's an infinite amount of options you can do for toppings. Same with beignets. And we've been doing that now for over six years with this concept. And uh, like I said, I haven't run out of ideas because I haven't ran out of people to talk to. So if you have an idea, Send us a message on Instagram. We would love to see what you want to see on our menu. And if it's something that we like and we're going to use, we'll message you back and you can come get a free order from us for that inspiration. And speaking of other flavors, you like to feature other small businesses. That's correct. Right? How does that partnership work? Oh, man. Par uh, collaboration has been a cornerstone to our business. So many of our friends uh, in San Antonio have small businesses, and we love to collaborate with their skill sets. And it also allows every business to uh, basically expand who knows about them. Every business has their own clientele, right? And with the, the, the saying goes, all, with high tides, all ships rise. And so we want to do our best by constantly working with other vendors in order to enrich all of the community in our small business in San Antonio. And you're also big on helping out, pardon me, I have beignet all over okay. my mouth here, uh, other businesses as far as getting started too, Absolutely. some advice. Yeah, you know, when we started off too, a lot of times we felt like we were just like traveling down a path without a flashlight in the dark. Mm -hmm. And we did a variety of programs like Launch SA, which I constantly promote, which helps small businesses have the tools they need to be better, uh, 
uh, equipped with the knowledge and skills that they need to run their business. And so we like to go back and mentor. We actually teach a class called Pivoting for Success because our first go around, we made an attempt at a sauce and spice line in barbecue. It wasn't panning out and we discovered that early enough that we were able to pivot and save our family business. And six years later with this concept, we're still going. We have a spot for 14 games at the AT&T Center. We have a, a spot at the Pearl Market, which we've been at for six years. And we have a restaurant on Broadway now. So any way that we can encourage other people to follow their dreams, that's all I've done. I'm a dream chaser and I know nothing else. So I encourage everybody, don't leave things a conversation, make it happen. We only have one life to live, so just go for it. And you're at the AT&T Center during Spurs games? That's correct, yeah. We're very blessed to be able to participate in the Community Kitchen Program. They allow us to serve our beignets to the wonderful San Antonio community and the Spurs family for 14 games this season. We and were there last night. Catering as well, and for weddings, instead of having like the bride's cake and the groom's cake, yeah. he combines them into beignets. With beignets, we love meeting the couples, and as they join their life together, we love to create a custom flavor for them to remember their Dave. Oh. Right inside Loop 410 on Broadway, right next to Wild Barley. Excuse me for talking about mouthful. Do yourself a favor <laughs> and go there. Yes. They're going to have expanded hours too. And I wanted to say real yes. fast, it is yes. my brother's birthday. Oh. Happy birthday, Greg. I know Happy you're in Missouri birthday. and you can't see this, but I love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Greg. Greg. <laughs> uh, for more information on the beignet stand, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code that you see there on your screen. The eggnog in this is delicious, <laughs> which raises the question, eggnog, mm -hmm. like it or not for Christmas? Yes, I love it. I do too. I love it. Love little, little nutmeg sprinkle on top. So you uh -huh. gotta let us know at SA Live KSAT, you know, where you fall. <laughs> do you love it or do you hate it? And we'll see how that shakes down a little later in the show. Okay, well I'm throwing my mouth open mm, to wash it down. <laughs> nice cup of coffee too. Yes, our Jen Tobias trustee, also known as Java Jen, has that cup of coffee at a new place in town. We're gonna find out where she went. Today on As A Live, we take you to Coffee and Culture Bakery. Now, it's not just about the sweets, but take a look at these festive holiday treats. We're gonna give you a sample of the menu, also the breakfast, and you know I have to try the coffee as well. So here a little special, we do have a, we partner with Sweet Baker. So basically Chef Encarnacion and Stephanie, they help us create all of our uh, pastries. Um, so we do have pastries from scratch on a daily basis. Uh, they're a Puerto Rican origin style, but then we also do a little bit of French as well. Uh, we do offer breakfast now. What makes us different is that we partner with the Greater Goods of Austin. So that's a micro uh, coffee roaster of the year. And basically it's a coffee with a purpose. So every time somebody comes to our shop, Every time we buy wholesale, we are all contributing to uh, autism, pets in distress, and Texas Food Bank. Now time to head into the kitchen where Chef Stephanie shows us the magic of croissant making. We have a specific size for every croissant so that they're nice and big and fluffy. And so you'll cut them into nice triangles. And so you'll grab it, you'll give it a little tug just to make it a little longer. That way you can wrap it more. And then at the end, you'll grab the little tail and you'll wrap it, and then that'll be the bottom. And then you can put them on the tray. Now, once they're done, look how huge these are. They're beautiful, <laughs> and tell me what you have there. So here we have, we like to take it up a notch a little bit, and so we have our guava and cheese, the one that's my favorite, and then we also have our Nutella and whipped cream. Definitely something you can share, Yes, right? for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, beautiful, good job. Thank you, thank you. Now let's see what other pastries are on the holiday menu. So I'm gonna sip my coffee, and yes. can you tell me what we have here? Yes, so starting, we have our quesito, which is a Puerto Rican pastry. It's made with a puff pastry dough, and then we do a sweet cream cheese filling. We do a nice glaze and sugar on top. Right next to that, we have our new item. It's called the bambolini. It's an Italian brioche, and it's also filled with pastry cream. We have our gingerbread cube. It's filled with the gingerbread cream filling. And then we actually make the gingerbread cookies in house. And then we do that little crumble on top with that. And then our other new item is our Nutella Christmas tree. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yes, so that's made with puff pastry as well. We do a Nutella filling, vanilla glaze on top. And then we did a little star with some edible gold dust. We have also our vanilla sugar cookies that are very festive and red and covered in sprinkles. Those are cookies? Yes. Oh my <laughs> wow. Yay. 
Yes, and then one of my favorites is our cranberry orange croissant. So it's filled with an orange cream, a homemade um, cranberry filling. We do a chocolate ganache on top, and then we sugared some cranberries to sprinkle on top. And a circle. Yes. Uh, wow. Yes, so it's so awesome when you cut it open and you see both of the colors of the filling on there. It's delicious. And one of our seasonal. So yeah, so we have our chocolate mousse tart, and then we have a pineapple tart as well. And you can take you can take That's a bite. So pretty. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Breakfast is also available, so be prepared to choose from a huge variety and pair it with some of their seasonal lattes. Okay, I've had an amazing time here at Coffee and Culture Bakery. You saw sweets, you saw breakfast items, and of course they have these amazing coffee drinks as well. This is the peppermint mocha and the campfire. Look at the s'more, it's so cute. For more information, you can head over to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or scan the QR code on your screen. Also, don't forget their hours are open seven days a week from 8 to 5 p.m. All right, time to taste. Cheers. I want to know if she got through that whole Christmas tree. Boy, that thing was good. <laughs> Every time they show a pastry, and then another one got better, yeah. and another one, and then that yeah. Christmas tree, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say live continues as we lick our lips and drool over all the uh, lovely pastries there. Hey, little extra cash this holiday season, how to win $500 and a chance at the grand prize of $10,000. We all have our favorite Christmas movies, but can you guess a Christmas movie from just one frame? We put your knowledge to the test. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you know, one of the best things to do around Christmas especially is play games with the family. Yes! We love playing games. All right, so today we're gonna play Name That Christmas Movie. And you get to play along too. So what's gonna happen is there's a picture covered up and we're gonna reveal squares and then you try and guess what that movie is. Yes. Okay. Okay, so here's the first movie, right? Yeah. Okay. And okay, here we go. We're gonna watch this. Uh, it's a wonderful life. No. No. Home Alone. It's from Universal. A Christmas story. What is <laughs> I have no idea. Die Hard. Oh, 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 it's, uh, what's his name? Yes, oh, yes, yes, love it was just on. <laughs> I was, I was gonna say that. Oh, were you? Yeah. Okay, well I said it first. I know. So I get okay. the point. All right, number two. <laughs> okay. Uh, essay Life, no wait. Oh. It's a Wonderful Life. No. <laughs> oh, uh, oh it is! How oh, really? <laughs> I didn't think they were gonna do that one. Well. I thought of all, you were gonna get that one. <laughs> I already me. guessed a Wonderful Life, so I got That's that one. That's two for okay. me, all right, okay. Uh, Bad Santa, or The Santa Claus. Nightmare Before Christmas. Really? You no. can tell by that. I know. <laughs> well, you're... I, didn't, I have you not got, seen these. You got three now. <laughs> yes, I have three. We have another I one. I saw we that do. accusatory okay. look. Okay. I gotta redeem myself. Two minutes well, I'm left. I'm gonna get a profile here, so. Hold on, here, so. Hold, on. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's in the mirror, it's Kevin. <laughs> you got all four of them, didn't you? Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a feeling the game is rigged today. No, no, it's totally uh, not. <laughs> another one. Rudolph the Red Nose Ranger. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know this one either. Uh, oh. Do you know? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yell it out. Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> what? That's a Christmas, Christmas movie? movie? About as much of a Christmas movie as Die Hard is, but anyway, oh. um, I'm one of those. Hey, do we do we have another one? Oh, Fiona wins. I, I win. Yes, name that Christmas okay. movie. You did very well. I did. I right? know. <laughs> and it was not rigged. He still thinks it's rigged. It's not rigged. I do think it's rigged. Okay. okay. Now we read our teases. Mm -hmm. Still ahead. <laughs> Get a Christmas feast <laughs> made for you at your next event this season. We make a Christmas meal with a local catering company. Plus, treat yourself this holiday season to better skincare by checking out Dillard's big event featuring a cosmetic founder. Looking for a great gift or 
or maybe a little something for yourself, Dillard's La Cantera is hosting a masterclass event with a Texas-based business owner whose beauty products are flying off store shelves. And we're learning more about it today with beauty sales manager, Angela Crawford. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh, so let's talk about this must-have skincare brand that is literally flying off the shelves this season that everybody's gonna want on their Christmas list. Tell us about Beauty Bio. So Beauty Bio is serious skincare backed by science. Um, if you're looking for firmer, more bouncy, glowing skin, you wanna target dark spots, even unwanted cellulite, Beauty Bio is the brand for you. Okay, and it all started with this first product here, yes, right? Yes, so this is the Glow Pro Tool. It makes thousands of micro injuries in the skin. Um, you just need to use it 60 seconds, safe for daily use. It's recommended that you use it at least three times a week. If you, um, after you use it for 60 seconds, you would just apply your product. You don't have to use Glow Pro. You can use your own product line and you're gonna get 200 times more product absorption so nothing falls on your pillowcase. Everything stays right in your skin. After 30 days, you're gonna notice softer lines and wrinkles and then also more firming, more glowing skin. It's honest skincare, clean skincare and honest. And you speak from experience. Yeah, so I've been using the brand since 2019 and um, my pores are smaller. My dark spots, acne scars are diminished. I hardly put you any can wear makeup. makeup. I, I know, don't. your skin looks amazing. Thank you. And it's also thankful to this next product, right? Yes, yeah, so this is the new um, hydrofacial tool that Jamie just launched this year. So this extracts, infuses, and clarifies your skin and gives you the most beautiful glow. It'll give you the same results as a hydrofacial, but at your own home. You don't have to spend $300 to go see an esthetician. You can do this at home. Love it. Okay, and our fabulous model here, Debbie, is gonna help us out again. So you just um, follow directions and turn on the device and then it has three speed settings. I'm gonna go ahead and go to speed two. And then you're just gonna hold it up to your skin until you start to feel a suction and you're gonna start to feel the product flow into your skin. And you have a special gift for folks watching SA Live right now. What can they take home? Well, let me show you. It's actually one of my favorite products. It's these Bright Eyes Deep Puffing Eyes Gels. You just put them on for 10 minutes and it'll brighten your eyes, smooth the puffiness. Just look refreshed. Yes. yes. Okay. And that's for the first 15 people who call and reserve, right? Yes. Okay. And then if you, uh, for $150 at the event, what do they get? So they get this beautiful makeup bag, the Balance Cleanser, which is also gentle enough for the eye area, another Bright Eyes, and the Vitamin C Serum called the daily. All right, so you don't want to miss the Beauty Bio event in partnership with Dillard's. I mean, there's going to be champagne, right? Refreshments. Yes, it's an event you're not going to want to miss. Um, Jamie has never been to Texas in a Dillard's store hosting one of these events, so it's a huge deal for the state of Texas. All right. Don't miss the Beauty Bio event in partnership with Dillard's. It's happening Wednesday, December 14th at La Cantera Resort and Spa. The masterclass is at 9.30 a.m. Then there's a meet and greet with Jamie O'Banion at 10.30 a.m. Make sure you RSVP because seating is limited. Just call 210-558-6121 to reserve your spot. Still ahead, how to creatively wrap your Christmas presents this year and how you can help kids in need this Christmas season. And get Christmas dinner made for you by a professional. We have a taste of Gnomes Catering, their wonderful Christmas menu. That's next on SA Live. SA Live is taking the L's out of Santa's workshop for some reindeer games. From sharing KSAT holiday recipes to big Christmas savings and a Christmas tree farm. Plus, we announced the final winner of the Thomas J. Henry Grand Prize giveaway. The SA Live Christmas special Friday, December 16th at 1 p.m. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, do you have your Christmas dinner planned yet? If you don't, then you can get a professional to make it for you ahead of time. And maybe you can mm -hmm. just take all the credit because this is totally. really good stuff. <laughs> Melania Lewis, owner of Gnomes Catering, joins us with a Christmas feast yes. and oh, all these little delicacies here. Welcome, so good to yes. see you. Yes. Yes. And Merry Christmas. Yes. Okay, Christmas dinner, mm -hmm. Beef Wellington. 
<laughs> yes, B14, yes. Um, but you know, you gotta also think like when you have parties, the family's like, oh, come over last minute, do this or that. You don't wanna, you wanna have like little something to eat on the plate. Yeah. And sit down. You don't wanna be trying to talk to right. your cousin like, ah, blah, blah, blah. And you know, you know. Because this mini version like this, I mean, you can still be social. Yes. Right? You know? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what's great about all of this. The the little individual, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Beef Wellington's here. <laughs> yes. She knows me too well. And then also the little uh, hors d'oeuvre. Those cups. are filet cups. You can get them at your local grocery, H-E-B, in the mm -hmm. frozen fruit section. They're so easy. They're fun. They're light. And, you know, they're bite-sized. Mm -hmm. You can't beat that. And so what do we have here? We have a little buffet mm -hmm. to build your own filet cup today. It's, you can do a variation of different things. You can do the apple with the blue cheese. You can do the guacamole with the pico. You can even put a shrimp on that. Um, I have done a um, maple syrup with a chile and um, with bacon on top. That's a big one too. Where do you come up with all your flavors? Just things that you love? Uh, things that I love when I, you know, watching, looking at desserts, thinking like, oh, that would be cool if you put that in this, or just going out like to, like the guest, the previous guest said, local restaurant, mm -hmm. or you know, face, Facebook, Instagram, it's inspirations everywhere. Okay. I'm coming up with there. Oh, I know, okay, so what what goes with this? And what, I would put this? cream this the... cheese with that, cream cheese. Okay. or goat cheese, the goat cheese. Ooh, is that is the this the cream cheese? cheese? Yes. yes, and that okay. is the fig jam. Now, okay. were you always a chef, or were you more of a baker? Um, I will start off as the family baker. Um, I had I was bullied when I was younger <laughs> by my older sister. She made me do all the desserts because she felt like she had the sides and her husband did the meats. So and I used to like to bake. So she took advantage of that and she used to make me bake. And then well, around like when I got 30-ish, I was like, oh, nobody's bullying me no more. <laughs> I'm getting ready to cook like everybody else. And now you love to cook. And catering parties too from I, Two to 200 maybe? Yeah, about the biggest crowd I've done is like 400. I like to keep it intimate though, because I just like the food and everything, the quality is way better. So I like to, I specialize now, like this year I've done a lot of cocktail parties mm -hmm. where I do like a charcuterie board or I do like a barbecue station. I've even done like a nacho station and I have people come and serve and pass. And that's been, you know, we love doing that. My, me and my crew, when we, I say, hey, we got a cocktail party. Everybody gets excited. So excited about it. And you have kind of like holiday packages, like for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. Tell us about yes. your Thanksgiving one that you so, did. So thanks, my Thanksgiving package was I did a fried turkey and I did dressing, I did yams, macaroni and cheese greens, and they're like eat and reheat. So people were coming like that Wednesday before Thanksgiving and they were just popping it in the oven and reheating them. And it was a convenient thing. You don't have to prep, you don't have to clean, you don't have to cook, you don't have to wash dishes afterwards. You just pig out and eat lay down. And that's what people loved about it, yeah. right? I mean, what's there not to love? And what's in the Christmas? The Christmas package oh. this year, I have an Oscar with a lamb chop and a crab cake. Um, my sides are a garlic mashed potatoes and green beans. I also have a steak with a white sauce with mashed potatoes and garlic. And I have a Cajun pasta, which is my signature classic that everybody loves with a side salad. And that comes with the three meats with the, the, the uh, sausages, the um, chicken, and it comes also with the shrimp. Okay, mm -hmm. and this will feed what? Four it feeds about four to six people, and the pickup is the last day to order is like the twenty second. But pickup is the day, Christmas Eve, that you mm -hmm. can come and pick it up, and the next day you just reheat and go. Okay, simple as that. Simple as that, just reheat and go. Oh God, that sounds absolutely okay. fantastic. So, okay. all right, what do you have planned after uh, the Christmas holidays? Just more catering coming up? Oh yes, <laughs> more catering coming up. Um, I am bringing back my brunches that I was doing at Upstage. I'm mm -hmm. doing that. Um, I've been really, it's really odd. I've been really booked. I went slow in December, <laughs> and all of a sudden, like. I just looked up my fit mom January, February, and March is booked up. And I'm working on, uh, well, of course, Black History Month. We're doing some events there also. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm partnering with Black Restaurant, and we have a lot of fun things to come. Oh, and wonderful. And of course, the African American Chamber of Commerce yes. helps small businesses grow, right? Yes, we're still working on resources for our small businesses, mm -hmm. and we're still working to bring a networking to everybody. So, that's never going to, that's also still my passion to work with businesses. Okay. It is delicious to say the least. We've been sitting here stuffing our faces <laughs> while well, many has been talking. But if you'd like more information on Gnomes Catering, head over to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Don't forget those great Christmas dinner packages. Look at that menu. Everything right in there. All you have to do is just eat and eat. Nomenia, thank you very thank much. You. And Merry Christmas. Merry dear. Christmas, too. Thank you.
All right, how you can help foster kids in need this Christmas season and how wrapping presents is a part of it. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, what could feel more like Christmas than helping kids in need? Yes, and Julie Healy, Senior Director of Development and Marketing, and, Li uh, and Liza Bloxham, volunteer for Roy Moss Youth Alternative, joins us to talk about an event. Welcome, mm -hmm. welcome, Thank ladies. You. All right, big wrapping event coming up here for Roy Moss Youth Alternative. Yes. We're going to tell you about that, talk about that in a second. But first of all, you have some tips on wrapping the perfect Christmas gift, which you can then practice these tips coming up Friday. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. We're going to practice first on making a bow. Okay. It can go on simple brown wrap. You embellish with whatever you find at the hobby stores. And mm -hmm. But a bow, you start this way, and you just do hoops. Okay. Or loops okay. back and forth. And I normally do six. Sometimes you people do eight. Okay. And you said and you always the, come back to the middle. The wire ribbon is the best to use. Uh, yes, because it stands okay. up. A little more it forgiving. makes a yes. Okay. And then when you get to the point in the middle, then I like to use wire and I cut it, mm -hmm. you know, hobby lot wire. Okay. And then just wrap it around. And like you said, I mean simple brown paper and these gifts look absolutely gorgeous. And that's what really kind of brightens up somebody's spirits is seeing sure. beautiful wrapped yes. gifts, which mm -hmm. is talking about uh, Roy Moss Youth Alternatives. Um, on the serious side, this is one of those organizations mm -hmm. that you hate to have, but you have to have it. And it's right. great that it's there for these yes. kids, right? Yes, and, and we're so grateful for the community that has supported us for over 46 years. Um, so we have our huge wrapping with Roy event this Friday. Um, it'll be in Bernie at our Meadowland campus in the Burdick Community Center. And we have received hundreds and hundreds of gifts from the community that supports us. They're literally like stacking the walls. And, um, and now it's time to wrap them. So we brought in our expert, Liza, so that she can help us get them beautiful for the kids. Because um, as you can imagine, Christmas, is a, it's a really difficult day for our children. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. And for people that don't really know all the details about Roy Moss Youth Alternatives, these are children that have been basically taken from their, well, they won't exactly. go back to their homes, right? Exactly, yeah. The kids in our care, for the most part, have been permanently removed from their familial home um, through no fault of their own. Uh, through neglect and abuse, and um, they and they now live with us either at Meadowland in Bernie, which is a long-term residential state. We have kids who, who will never get adopted or fostered, and they will age out with us. We also have kids who are getting adopted and fostered. We have five that are, will, will go to their new homes before Christmas, which is a blessing. Right. But that means five more will be coming, and five more will be coming, as has been the case for 46 years. We also have the Bridge Emergency Shelter in San Antonio, and that is their first placement. It's literally the bridge between their current situation which is not a good one and where the next step in life will be okay. in fact we have a card here from one of our lovely young ladies in the bridge she made it for you guys look at this and just for having y'all on the show today to talk about this event coming up here and then drew pictures of all of us yes mm -hmm. and there she is on the end saying in the situation but woo -hoo, right you know, she's saying about she's been removed from her home but she wrote woo hoo and um she because she just she's like can i go on the show i'm like no honey you can't come yeah. with us but we'll see you afterward she's 11 years old wow oh, goodness well christmas you try and make it as best as possible mm -hmm. like you said so people have been so generous with hundreds and hundreds of gifts but they have to be wrapped they have to be wrapped yeah. and you have a wrapping party coming up friday we do we're really excited about it it's called wrapping with roy again it'll be in the burdick community center we have it fully decorated by uh, again by lots of our wonderful volunteers we're going to have food so if you come and join us we'll feed you um diana Diana um, with Los Barrios is um, helping us with a, with enchiladas, rice and beans. We'll have holiday music, so it's going to be fun, and it and it's going to be just a really feel good event that's going to serve our kids. And so. of course, on Christmas, the kids get to have some fun as well, right? They do. And again, you know, Christmas is a sad day, right? It's the most wonderful time of the year, but for our kids, you know, every child, even though they've been removed from their home. They still want their family. No matter what's happened, they want mom and dad and they want their siblings. So we allow them to open one gift per hour to keep the momentum of the day going. We also take them to the movies because that's a block of time. And you know, there's always good movies out that are you know, age appropriate. 
But um, we really, we're trying to keep the day moving because it's a sad day when you you don't have your family anymore. And the wrapping event is, you said, kind of like an open house. So if it you is. have an extra half hour, an hour, a couple of hours, want to go out there Just and come practice, practice, the expert Liza is going to be yes. there to help you with all the bows and everything like that. So, but uh, fantastic that folks can come out yes. and, and help yes. out with this. Absolutely. Right. So, and then we also always need community support. Um, so donations. If, uh, donations are always, always appreciated. The state of Texas really only covers about half of what it costs us to take care of children so we rely on the public for private funding to take the very best care of these amazing kids all right thank you so much Appreciate for more information on roy moth's youth alternatives just head to our website salive.com where we provide a link or you can just scan that qr code on your screen still ahead santa Oh, where you can get your photos taken with him, enjoy hot cocoa and cookies, and a jolly good time. Plus, find out how you can enter to win $500 in cash, our daily winner of the Thomas J. Henry Cash Giveaway, next on SA Live. All right, we have a winner. The Thomas J. Henry Daily Cash Giveaway is sending Lisa Hotchin home with $500 for the holidays. Congratulations. Thomas J. Henry is giving away $500 every day, Monday through Friday through December 16th. One lucky winner will take home $10,000. You can enter to win to be the next winner online at tjhcash.com slash San Antonio. And good luck. Well, happy Inclusion Tuesday. Well, Morgan's Wonderland is once again spreading holiday happiness with a wonderful Christmas. It's happening now through December 23rd here at Morgan's Wonderland, it's bringing joy to the whole family. And here with everything you need to know is General Manager and CEO Jessica Lazardo. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! This is just so exciting. I'm so excited. I'm so ready for Christmas to be here yep. and just ready. Okay, so ready. but what's going to be going on here? So we'll be open from 4 to 9 on Fridays and Saturdays. Saturdays and then every day the 16th to the 23rd. Um, admission prices are the same as you would on any other Morgan's Wonderland day. Uh, and any extra additional stuff that we have going on is included in that admission price. So we'll have free hot chocolate and cookies. We will have Christmas carolers. We will have a puppet show. Um, we will have a choir show on some nights. We'll have a petting zoo, two of them. Um, and we also have something. Exotic animals and yes, stuff? Yes, exotic animals. And yes. a bunch of elves and Lots angels and everybody elves, around here yes. as well. And we'll also have um, Santa, the big man in red, will be coming too. He is going to be there? He is going to be here, yes. So uh, I've got pictures. my list. Oh, good deal. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, it's in big, okay. Wow. Yeah. And everybody gets to meet Santa? Everyone first? gets to meet Santa. Pictures of Santa are $5 per person. Yeah. And you can take that picture home with you. It's a 5 by 7 photo. Oh my goodness gracious, yes. really? Yes, yes. Okay, can you bring your list? If, you I mean, you can, can, Okay. he will make sure that everything is taken care of on that list. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. He though takes it's... it directly to the North Pole. Seriously? It's the real deal. We have the real big man in right here. I'm getting excited about this. <laughs> How about too. all the rides and everything? All the rides, everything is operational, and everything's included in your mission price as well. Oh, wow. And this is, like you said, for the whole family. Whole family, and it's in the evening. So you get, if it's like a cool night weather-wise, mm -hmm. like you get that Christmas chilly feel as you're walking through the park. Okay, what's on your Christmas list? So every year I actually wish for a maid um, to... <laughs> To clean my house, I have littles, so okay, uh, yes. a magic fairy mixed in with that would be great. Okay, a maid. Well, maybe you can put in a good word, Santa Claus, since you're like the boss over I, here. So, crossing okay. my fingers. Okay, if folks want more information about everything going on here, yes, where you do they can go? visit our website at morganswinterland.com and purchase your tickets online, or um, you can come and buy your tickets on the on the door way up. Okay, I don't have maid on my list. So. <laughs> Anyway, but I got a lot of good, oh, a lot of good, I'm going to talk to the big guy in a second here. So, A Wonderland Christmas is going on now through December 23rd from 4 to 9 p.m. on select evenings. For more information and tickets, visit morganswonderland.com. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, who knew baking could be so dramatic? Meet the local baker who's part of a brand new reality show, and she shows us some of the impressive skills that got her there. Plus, the next few days are going to be big. We're launching a brand new holiday sweet fix on SA Live and you only have three days to play. Find out what the prizes are and how you can be one of the lucky winners. It's tomorrow at one right here on SA Live.
Let me, hey, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, when I got you here, I wanted to go over this list. It's, it's alphabetical on both sides, and yeah, is this doable? But of course. Okay. Only if you put a good boy this year. Uh, well, Have uh, you? Yeah, of course. Okay. You watch. All right, earlier we asked you, eggnog, yay or nay, basically, and Junior says, absolutely yummy, yes. Valerie says, ooh, delicious. I love the little uh, emoji there. Jacob says, I love ooh. eggnog with pineapple juice. I bet hmm. that is really good. Love, toast the new year with eggnog, which is tradition in our family, Lisa. Vicky, she, she doesn't like it, hmm. no. Okay, mm -hmm. love it, can't afford it. <laughs> says Paulette. Oh. And then Linda says, love it to drink it and to make cookies that melt in your mouth. Ooh, that sounds good. Yes, mmm, good. <laughs> love it too much. Love it, love it, love it, most people say so. All right. Jane Ann says she loves it too. All right. So, of course, let's show this right here. Yes, indeed. What a Be beautiful ornament. Mm -hmm. uh, Roy Moss Youth mm -hmm. Alternatives, you can help them out this Friday to wrap all the gifts that people have so generously given to uh, some of the, the kids We're gonna out there at Roy right Moss. We're going to put this right here on our tree. And of course, congratulations to Mike on being nominated for San Antonio Magazine's Best TV Personality. Be sure to go vote for him. SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA 